Hi everyone, welcome back to the Flicks the Church for God. This is part three um, of a four episode special looking at the cheery subject of witchcraft, Christianity and horror. Um, check out part one for my in-depth review of The Witch, part two for my top ten witch movies and part four which will be coming soon which I share uh, in which I share a magazine article I wrote about witchcraft and the church. But for this episode, um, you're not going to hear as much from me. I'm going to be interviewing um, a lady called um, Becky Bird. What a great name. She's a practicing witch here in the UK. And um, I was speaking to her at a day conference, which was called um, Seriously Bewitched. She was one of the speakers there. I went there back in November of 2015. Now, this was at Goldsmiths College in South London, and it was organized by ASAP, which stands for um, the Association for the Scientific Study of Anomalous Phenomenon. What a great title. And previous events that they've uh, put on have looked at things like demons, um, ghosts, fairies, vampires, all the big, all the big names. Anyway, incidentally, I'm going to be speaking at their upcoming weekend conference myself, where um, I'm going to be there speaking on the subject of uh, does God believe in ghosts? Um, if you fancy coming along to that, it'll take place at the Quality Hotel in Reading, um, and it happens from uh, 9:30 a.m. Saturday till the 10th of September till. Um, 5.30 Sunday the 11th of September that's not how long my talk is I'm just one speaker amongst many and uh, there's a whole bunch of strange things going on there um, live paranormal experiments and all that sort of stuff but anyway enough of that let's get back to um, the witches uh, here you can hear from a real life witch uh, Becky Bird well, um, this, the, today I've really been enjoying myself by coming to the Seriously Witch Conference and finding out a lot about the different perspectives on witchcraft. And um, I'm here talking to Becky. Um, and she's a practicing witch. She's going to tell us a little bit um, about her background. And also, um, we're going to ask her a little bit about um, the portrayal of witches in horror films and whether or not that's a positive or negative image. So, Becky, thank you for chatting to us. Hello. Um, yeah, tell us firstly a little bit about yourself, Becky, and your background and um, the sort okay. of stuff you're well, involved with. I'm normal in that I'm a 48-year-old woman, and I'm a mum and grandmother, yeah. um, um, but I've been a practicing witch for about 40 or so years. Um, thoroughly enjoy it, do lots of spell work, I'm part of a coven, which is quite a recent thing, um, and I've been a hedge witch, which is a solitary, working on my own for quite a long time prior to that, so yeah, enjoy myself. And we were talking earlier um, about um, how you've had experiences where um, you used to go to a faith school and, you, um, and you've had, not had a great experience of people and perhaps uh, of, of a Christian faith that treating yes. you particularly well or shitting you. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I would find that while I was um, picking up my children from, um, from the CV school, um, that generally speaking in the playground, other parents tended to avoid me. They kind of just thought I was a bit strange, a um, bit odd somebody to avoid and so despite the fact that I was friendly I'm a very very friendly person um, despite that I would find that people would shun me um, and even when I spoke to them and said hello um, they tended to avoid me and, and I mutter under their breath hello and then wander off to a different area of the yeah, playground so yes it was um, soul destroying actually yeah, yeah sure. rather upsetting yeah, yeah. Um, and do you ever get that experience much these days or is things getting better no things are definitely definitely improving I'm not entirely sure whether it's simply because I'm more comfortable in my own skin okay. um, and I think well I'll blow everybody they can do their own thing yeah. um, or whether people are just generally more accepting when somebody is in a little bit different mm. to how they are. People are more accepting of colour, people are more accepting of um, race and of yeah. sexual orientation. I yeah. suppose yeah. religious values go yeah. with that as well. Yeah. well um, the, the show that this is part of is called The Flicks the Church of which explores um, the deeper and sometimes spiritual things of horror movies. Um, and so part of the episode that I'm doing today is um, going to be looking at some um, portrayals of witches in, in horror right. movies. Oh, and yes. um, perhaps you have got some uh, comments on uh, whether or not horror movies do which is a, a service or a disservice. A bit of a disservice, I would say, generally yeah. speaking. Um, they tend to portray us as the rather ugly woman, the older woman. Um, yes, I'm older. Probably not as good as I was 20 years ago, but not <laughs> yeah. that bad. Yeah, you're really. not the hack. Quite <laughs> quite well. um, so, you know, we're not that stereotypical green-faced, mm. warped, um, yeah. holding 
which the yeah. Disney would have us yeah. yeah, yeah. Definitely. And, and, and are there any particular sort of films that like depict witches that you would say are um, problematic or, or ones that you would say were, were, were bad? Or are there any positive films out there that, that depict witches in a good yeah. way? Yeah, Practical Magic, I would say, is a really good um, depiction of, of modern witches. Um, they kind of put us in a fairly positive light overall. Um, it kind of deteriorates a little bit towards the end. Um, and it goes horribly wrong. Um, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so generally speaking, um, we tend not to be put in too much of a good light. It very seldom seems to be that we are the heroine. Um, although yeah. I must say that Maleficent, yes. that was portrayed, yeah. uh, that was um, put on uh, fairly recently. Rather good. Okay, and so I thought she positive. did Angelina Jolie. I mm. thought she did rather a positive thing for us yeah. as, a, as a general as yeah. a general thing so I thought we did rather well in that That's but good. mostly I mean, you sort of think of the Wicked Witch of the West in the Wizard of Oz and yeah. um, you know anything you think of in a cartoon where we have green skin and the big old hag noses and so on yeah. and the wart um, as you can see I don't know no, no, you're ward free. I'm ward free. She's ward free. I am ward free. Yeah. <laughs> and um, um, what about yeah, films? Generally. What about films that uh, have you have you ever watched many films that are about like um, witch finding um, or uh, about yes. sort of persecution of witches? Yes, How and I think they're rather films? disturbing. Generally speaking, yeah. um, I find them quite bone chilling, actually. Yeah. Um, because I feel that I've been oh. reincarnated. This probably sounds rather okay. peculiar. Um, I feel I've been reincarnated in this. Um, in this guise a few mm. times um, and it, it doesn't bring back memories but it almost feels like it should bring back memories yeah. of horrible persecution times of yeah. being hanged, crushed, mm. burnt at the stake, whatever. Yeah. Um, so yeah, clearly it doesn't bring back memories because I'm still here, mm. I haven't been hanged or crushed or, or burnt at the stake. Um, but it almost feels as though I was there now. Um, and I find it really deeply disturbing. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting because I mean, there's a few different films. Like there's a film called Mark of the Devil. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but there's other films as well, which in some ways they they, they use the witchcraft trials as, a, as an excuse to show like exploitation yes. and naked women being and, uh, beaten yes. or whatever or, or tortured. Um, and uh, I suppose you wouldn't ever dream that a, a, a film would use the um, say that slavery, you know, African American slavery. Yeah. World slavery as an excuse to as an exploitation movie yes. because that would be too shocking, and yet for some reason witchcraft is maybe or, or, or witch hunting yes. is, is not yet taken seriously. Yeah, it's still ripe, to, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's still very very ripe. Yeah, and of course witch hunter general is. Oh yeah, I've been moment, yeah. 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 Um, so yes, it's it. I think it's very much um, something that's not yet become taboo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, whereas, you know, will. clearly um, slavery is a, an appalling mm. thing, wouldn't mm. condone that at all. Yeah. And so, I mean, even 20, 30 years ago when the programme Roots was on, yeah. it was a shocker, but it was one of those things that people accepted, oh, it's terrible, that's terrible. Yeah. Um, but still doing it with us yeah. from two, three, four hundred years ago it seems to be still acceptable. This is, oh, this is what we did, and hey, look. Mm. Enjoy yourself while you're watching this person being tortured. Yeah, because yeah. I certainly, I mean, I, I mean, I, the denomination I'm part of, the Baptist Church, like, a few years ago, we were making quite a big deal of having a sort of public apology for the the, the, the Baptist denomination's part in the slavery yeah. trade. Um, but I'm not aware that they've ever considered um, an apology for no. um, the witch hunt. So I'm not quite there sure are, where the Baptist denomination yeah, fits there in the are occasional, There are occasional oh. apologies. Um, and there are occasional reburials, um, which oh, okay. is a marvellous thing. Um, more so in Scotland than in England. Right. Um, and there have been apologies. Um, it's usually come after um, a bit of a petition yeah. um, where somebody has been exonerated and then reburied somewhere else. Um, or there's been a pardon for somebody that was um, executed as a witch mm. that they subsequently found out was a sort of deemed as being a scapegoat. So there yeah. are one or two. They tend not to hit the headlines yeah. um, because obviously it's not good news. Mm. Um, you know, it doesn't make you know it doesn't make um, headlines. Mm. Um, but there have been one or two pardons. But of course, there were so many people that were executed for being witch, cunning woman, wise woman because the milk turned sour, because the cows didn't produce <laughs> yeah. calves, whatever mm. it might have been. The crops yeah. failed. 
Um, so yeah, there have been um, one or two pardons, but you know, in the greater scheme of things, very few. Yeah, maybe there will be more few. of them to come. Well, well, I hope so. Yeah, well, Becky, thank you for talking to us. Thank you very much. Okay, so thank you again to um, Becky Bird for taking the time uh, to talk with me about the subject of witchcraft and horror. Can I encourage you um, to check out the next and the final episode in this little mini-series where I'm going to be sharing my own thoughts on um, the links between witchcraft and Christianity, where I'll specifically be looking at what witches think of Christians and particularly what Christians appear to think about witches. Um, but until then, uh, please share um, and subscribe if you're preferred. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Rev Peter Laws. And um, don't forget the Flicks the Church for God.